Trinket, and welcome to the 92nd Annual Hunger Games. On my right, we have... Caesar Fleckerman! Who will be the commentator for this year, and on my... Oh, you know it. And on my left, we have... The Fresh Scientist from Bel Air. Who will give us all the physics insights of everything that goes on in the Hunger Games this year. Have fun! Five, four, three, two, one. Did you see how that tribute shot that water out of that giant gun, the poisonous water? That was awesome. How did, how did she do it? Wait, see, see, I thought that was quite disrespectful. However, what happens is, uh, well, the back end of the water gun pushes water forward, and the bottom of flow rate at all points of a, a water gun has to be equal. So, since X amount of water is being pushed at the back end, X amount has come out the front end. And since the hole is much smaller, it comes out at a much higher velocity. <laughs> I By the way, your makeup's amazing. Thank you, I'm going for the natural look. just happened? I am so confused right now. How did it flow? What is going on? Well, you see, Caesar, the water bottle was able to float because the weight of the water bottle, when it was empty, was light, lighter than the weight of the water displaced. 
That's why it floated. That is all wacky. Oh my gosh. What is it's that is crazy. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. <laughs> oh, thank you. Look at that! This fire! This fire's warming me up! Whew. Pitiful fire. <laughs> Here it goes. Whew. It's warm! Oh my gosh, did you see that guy with the paper and the grill and the fire? How? That was amazing! How does that even make her warm? Well, you see... The heat from the fire heats up the particles within the air, which gives them more kinetic energy. And then, as, as the particles have more energy, they collide more with the skin, giving her heat. That is fascinating! Ooh, look a fish! Oh man, I miss. Oh man! Oh man! You're doing it all wrong. Since the air? And the water have two different index of refraction. The light bends when it goes into the water. So you gotta spear it right there. I got it! What? <laughs> we eat good tonight! <laughs> oh, hey, look. Two people. I think we're our allies. Make holy. Hey! Hey, you guys! Over here! You guys wanna be allies? Sure. Okay. Come on. Sure. Negative pie, district, negative pie, negative one half. Oh my god, I get some of the Let's go see what it is. Oh my goodness. It's a flash. <laughs> With this nuclear flashlight, we can make a nuclear bomb. All we have to do is just hook up, uh, hook up the nuclear power source to, to the circuit, and we can, uh, we can overload the, the uranium, and it'll be too slow. Wait, but how does the circuit work? Oh, uh, that's the long. Basically, there's just the wire and electricity is traveling from the positive to negative end. Well, electricity is traveling from the voltage source and trying to compensate for neutral charge. Um, so we move along the wire and through uh, different kinds of resistors, and the resistors will dissipate the energy and the uh, necessary, which will allow us to, will allow us to, yeah, you know. Wait, yeah, yeah. how do we make a bomb out of this stuff? No, see, the energy just will overload the, the uranium and then... And it'll explode. Yeah, it'll... And then it'll we give, can just kill them all. It'll give too much energy. That sounds like modern... And then we win! Guys. What are they doing? Fresh scientists of Bel Air, can you enlighten us? Well, you see, Caesar, they're uh, they're trying to create a nuclear bomb, it appears, from that nuclear flashlight the sponsor gave them. However, they're doing it all wrong. You see, <laughs> here, this is a circuit that is used in most electronics. You see, energy comes out of this uh, this any voltage source and goes through the resistors to provide energy to those areas, and the energy is then dissipated through through the resistors. Now, they're trying to use this circuit to, uh, to break apart the atoms, the, the nucleus of those atoms. And it's just, there's just nowhere near enough energy available. And they're doing it all wrong if they want to create a controlled explosion whatsoever. I can't even believe this. It is truly unbelievable. So how would they actually go about making a bomb? You see, see, there's just, just, there's just no way they would out in the wild like that. They would need an unstable radioactive isotope right, and it would have to let, let it decay itself and it would go into a supercharged state. It's just, there's no way they would with a generic nuclear flashlight like that. Let's do it guys, okay, get Alright, ready? Let's try to, ready? I'm gonna, if I screw this on it will cause an explosion, right? Yeah, sure. That was quite the Hunger Games. What do you guys all think happens? I have no idea what just happened. What? Like, who, 
they're all kind of dead. What do we do now? Well, scientists, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to do if, if everyone's dead. This is an outrage. Something needs to be done, and a victor needs to be crowned. Well, I'm glad that all of you guys have constructive input to this situation. Now that's the audience. Who do you think won? Welcome! I'm Effie Trinket. Welcome to the 92nd Annual Hunger Games. On my right here we have... <laughs> and from... I can't remember what district was from. He killed like four people. Oh, and he ran up and he just shanked that guy with that big old lightsaber. <laughs> that girl, she couldn't kill him with her bow and arrow because, let's be honest, not a good shooter over here. Got his table and wham! Wham! Got him. What? Oh my goodness! I know! Back to the Hunger Games. My hair, my hair good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Okay. Now back to the Hunger Games. You're gonna be Rue, okay? Your name is Rue. No. You're gonna be Rue? No. 